we are live good morning to all the dignitaries and the participants i am dr pranav adave the coordinator of asia's first and unique course in forensic journalism launched by national forensic sciences university on behalf of the honorable founder vice chancellor of this university dr jm vyas sir i warmly welcome you all to the webinar let us learn follow new abcd and fight out corona effectively being organized by national forensic sciences university at gandhinagar as you all are aware the national forensic sciences university is the world's first and only forensic sciences university in recognition of its past performance and potential recently the ministry of home affairs government of india has upgraded it as a national university granted the status of institution of national interest and made it a lead agency for expanding and enhancing the expertise in various branches of forensic science in the country today we are privileged to have two eminent experts one is a renowned personality from the field of forensic medical science padma shri dr sudhir v shasha and another one is india's senior most forensic scientist honorable vice chancellor of nfsu dr jm vyas it is our privilege to have them here on virtual platform to share their wisdom with us we will begin with honorable vice chancellor of national forensic science sciences university gandhinagar dr jm vyas sir please sir good morning everyone and i extend a very warm welcome to all of you to this webinar which is the second in the series we started the first webinar we conducted was on happiness how to remain happy how to gain happiness and how to remain with happy and that got a tremendous response and that motivated us and then we both decided because we have a very learned speaker so i am going to discuss more on this but then we both decided jointly that now let us talk something on this current situation with everybody is suffering from if suppose i don't have a covid physically i am already suffering from covid mentally that i will have it what will happen to me i will be taken to icu all kinds of even in the when i see the dreams my dream also i see icu and all this hospitalization and ambulance and all because this is what we have been watching on tv we have been reading in newspapers and so there is a kind of a psychological impact uh, on everyone everyone's mind whether the person is infected with covid or is not infected with everybody is suffering from this so we have a very learned speaker very well experienced uh, a medicine person professor doctor is also padmasri dr sudhir saha saab and uh, the uniqueness in this uh, doctor saab is he is a combination of spirituality and medicine that's very important if somebody is spiritual he may not be a scientific person if somebody is a very good doctor may not have a spirituality and this combination is very rare spirituality you combine with your knowledge of medicine and then you come out with interpretations how to lead a life with more ease more comfort more happiness if there are stresses coming in the life how to deal with the stresses if there is a fear which is generated in my mind how to deal with that fear so and then once you see mostly what we are suffering from we are suffering from sorrow we are suffering from sadness we are suffering from guilt and we are suffering from fear so these are the factors which are not allowing us to remain happy they continuously go on hammering us the moment i fulfill one desire and then another starts the moment i take some steps to remove my fear to come out of the fear and then some other point comes and which also takes over uh, my mind and then again i am i become a fearful person so 
uh, it will be a very interesting talk how to deal with this situation, how to remain cool, calm, comfortable in this scenario of COVID with everybody suffering. We have been suffering from this for the last more than one and a half years. So it's high time. Everybody wants to come out of this and this will be very interesting talk. Dr. Sudhir Sahasab is a professor also, but then he's also working as a director of neurology department in the Sterling Hospital, a very well-known hospital of Ahmedabad City and even Gujarat. So he has got a lot of experience and knowledge of neurological sciences. He also has a knowledge of general medicine and he has all the knowledge of spirituality. So this three combination will definitely help us. And he was telling me that he has also been handling COVID related issues. He has been treating patients online. He has been, he has seen patients, number of patients offline, online, and he has prescribed treatment, which includes yoga kind of therapy also, not only uh, allopathy medicine, but he, uh, suggesting a combination of allopathy, Ayurvedic, yoga, exercise, etc., etc., and that has been proved very, very useful to the patients. And then patients got a lot of benefits uh, because uh, of the advice and prescription given by him. So I will not take more of your time. So I would request straight away Dr. Sudhir Sar to kindly deliver his talk and enlighten us on this very, very important subject as to how deal with how to deal with this corona. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pranavai, shall I start straight away? Yes, sir. Okay. Please, sir. May I share this screen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Has the screen come up? Yes, sir. All right. First of all, my respectful regards and pranam to my most beloved senior friend, scientist, and my philosopher guide, Professor J.M. Vyasa, for inviting me here and sharing the dais. Thanks to Dr. Pranav Dave and the whole team for arranging this webinar. Thanks to all of you who are present here for this webinar. This is a unique kind of webinar and your experience would be very, very meaningful and useful, I'm sure. In the next 50 minutes, I'm going to share something which is very, very exciting and amazing to you. Although you are quite aware of some of the aspects of COVID and you know that COVID is a, you know, a virus, RNA virus with the spikes on there. Uh, surroundings, so it looks like a crown, and therefore it is called coronavirus. Corona in Greek means crown, so it's it's a monster with a crown, crowned monster. In uh, Indian language, we can say it corona sur. Now you'll be surprised that this is not the first kind of viral uh, epidemic or pandemic that a human race is facing. You'll be surprised to know that right from Charak Sahita, which dates back around 5th century BC, that is around 2,500 years from now, there is mention of something called Janapad Dhons. Whole, whole nations and the uh, cities and states are wiped off just because of some pandemic or some natural calamity. That is called Janapad Dhons. Immediately thereafter, 4th century BC, in a uh, scripture, Jain scripture called Og Niryukti, Sri Badrabhav Swami has mentioned about this pandemic which must have prevailed that time and he has mentioned the ways to do quarantine, how to keep away and how to wash your hands, so sanitization, he has mentioned about hygiene techniques, how one should be having physical distancing, how to spread to different places away from the pandemic. Everything very succinctly has been described. Thereafter, if you see the timeline of uh, history, 
of pandemics. There is a first century pandemic, there is fifth century, seventh century, tenth century, twelfth century. One of the biggest pandemics that mankind has ever seen is from 1345 up to date. That is uh, about 700 years from now. 1345 to 1355, where about 20 crore people have said to have died. Okay. So there was the biggest pandemic. That was Black Death due to uh, plague. So influenza, plague, smallpox, and so on. So then 16th century, 17, 17 to 1720. Then some other pandemic, 1767. Then 1888, 1867, 1988 to 1920. You know, last uh, century we had uh, uh, Spanish flu, influenza pandemic, where we lost at least 7 to 10 crore of people, according to one estimate. In India itself, it is said that we lost 1.2 crore people. So that is a timeline. Then there were lots of other small and big pandemics. But it is said that every 18, 80 to 120 years, a big pandemic is coming in cycle. And it clears a lot of you know humanity. Lots of people die, and there's a lot of things in the nature that happen. So that is the history of uh, pandemics. Now coming back to coronavirus, it's an enveloped single stranded ribonucleic acid, and it is classified into four different genera. That is alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and uh, SARS cov two was the seventh member of the beta coronavirus family infecting the human. So that is the family history of this coronavirus. Okay. And uh, this is how it looks under the electron microscope. Okay. So then uh, coronavirus is coined up by June uh, Almeida in 1967. This has been there, but uh, the infectivity in the humans is seen first time. That's why it's called novel coronavirus. And you know the first case that happened in somewhere in the November and in China. And uh, it resembles solar corona. That's why it's called coronavirus. 2002 to 3 outbreak, we had seen uh, SARS-CoV-1. That was another uh, pandemic. Then another was in Saudi Arabia. That's called MERS-CoV-2. And uh, in between there was 2009. That was your uh, uh, swine flu. So there are lots of uh, virus attacks in this family that mankind is seeing, and we had anticipated that this kind of big pandemic may come. Now, this is how it looks like. And the most important things that we are having, uh, you know, going to uh, follow in this uh, pandemic, and even later, is avoid close contacts, avoid uh, 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 stay in your house, use mass properly and restrict going outside. And I'm going to dwell on this at some time later during my ABCD. Now, there are three main viral problems. Those who are interested in science may have some idea uh, of uh, three main proteins. One, that it has a spike glycoprotein. The virus contains three main proteins, spike glycoprotein, the nucleocapsid protein, and then there is an envelope. So, what is virus? It, it is a basically a question whether it's a live thing or a, a dead thing. The neuro, the the microbiology defines this as a dead life. They call it sajiva jeev. Why? Because Robert Cox has defined the criteria of life. Why? And when you can call somebody a live thing, the, that should satisfy four criteria. One is growth and metabolism. Second is a reaction to the external stimulus. Third is a replication. You must, you must be able to reproduce yourself. And then you should have a kind of uh, uh, suggestiveness. So there are four things which every, uh, every live thing should have. Now, here, it does not, uh, virus does not satisfy this criteria. Look here, there is only one thing here is a RNA protein. Some of the virus have only DNA protein. They don't have nucleus, nucleolus, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, which are all there in any living sing single cellular cells. Even amoeba has that, but this does not have. 
it is coated by the protein envelope, so capsid, and then outside it has a lipid membrane. So this only simple structure and it cannot reproduce itself. It has to go into a host cell and then there is no male female. So it, it takes help of the host cell and gets multiplied and therefore it is not uh, really reproduction, it is multiplication. So this is how you should know even if you are a science student or not, this is something very important you should know. This uh, virus comes in contact with the host cell through the uh, ACE receptor, this ACE2 receptor, and then it enters into the host cell and produces a lot of damage. It takes away the host cells, uh, every function, it hijacks and then replicates itself. So. Uh, this is where this is a cell membrane that the virus enters through this. This is called ACE2 receptor, which every human cell has, and then from many of the human cells, and then from there it uh, goes into second stage of translation. So it is internalized. There is a translation of the viral RNA. Then third stage viral protease cleavage. Then translation and RNA replication. Here it takes the you know material of host and start producing the replication like this and then it is packaged in fifth stage and then comes outside as a multiple viron and during that process the host cell is dead so this is how it captures the human body and how does the virus spread you know that very well by droplets breath cough contact etc i don't want to go into details but it is important to stay at least three feet away from others when you are in a crowd or in people in surrounding of people and wash your hands regularly with soap and water or clean with 70% alcohol based water. I'm coming to that also. Now, according to recent study, we know that it is also staying as an aerosol in air up to three hours on copper and other cardboard and other uh, surface structures also. On steel, it stays for two, three days. And you'll be surprised when I was talking of Og Niryukti, that Badrabahu Granth, he has mentioned that the, the infective material stays on the metals for days on. Now, without the scientific material, how could have they perceived just by simple case studies and observations? So this is how we have to be very careful, not only from person contact, but breath, aerosol, and surfaces also. Now, coming back to the episode here, the India breath, which is one lakh daily mark, that was what was discussed on 5th of April. Then in a few days, we reached the mark of two lakh cases, then four lakh cases. And now, with good fortune, for the last seven, 10 days, the cases are receding. And uh, there were a lot of days, apparently 2 lakh 75 uh, or 2 lakh 50,000 in between where some you know, official data is there for the cases. And uh, um, uh, many cases are recurring also. So you must also remember that out of all, the coronavirus is, is a very cruel virus. It does not discriminate. Although it affects older adults more, all those people who have underlying medical conditions like heart disease, diabetes, lung, kidney disease, cancer, medication of immunosuppression and all that. It now does not seem to spare even young. The second wave we have seen young, robust people dying and then pregnant women. And now it is said that the younger generation, the people, the Children between age of 2 to 15 years are all look, already getting infected. So it's a very cruel virus. Now, friends, before I start the most important lesson in form of A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, we are going to learn new A, B, C, D. A for apple, B for banana, and C for cat. No, we will have something new. But before I do that, I want to reiterate, Corona has not gone. It is around the corner. Friends, I am so much pained and surprised to see the behavior of people that just because the lockdowns are reduced, they feel that the corona is gone and they start with, you know, improper, irresponsible behavior. My friends, please see that you or your friends or your contacts don't do that. Corona is around the corner. What are waves? Waves are nothing but the reflection of our follies and mistakes. So please don't uh, break those laws. Don't go into crowd. Wash your hands. Wear the mask. 
wherever you are out even at home in when you are meeting people and uh, observe physical distancing so uh, what is abc in other form other way appropriate behavior for corona prevention is our abc and what is appropriate behavior what is appropriate attitude and what is appropriate diet what is appropriate immunity and how best we can get immune to this uh, cruel virus this is what we are going to learn with a very scientific way as well as spiritual background if we follow this abcd 95% of the times we all would be immune to corona but listen to this carefully and follow it so the advice given in the subsequent slides in form of abc format is issued in the interest of public health okay and this is the abcd a is alertness attention appreciation b is be positive but corona negative b positive corona negative look read books b bold C is compassion, care, creativity, etc. I'm going to take one by one. Don't worry. And sim way M is medication, meditation, music. N is nurture the nature, and O two. So fasten your seat belt and have a perfect attention word by word. So what is A, my dear friends? A is alertness, attention, and appreciation. First of all, appreciate. all the corona warriors all doctors nurses paramedics and frontline workers even all people who are serving the nation government people the officers and those who are giving our our daily things you know like milk wala se like everybody we should appreciate those who have made, made our life comfortable and particularly the doctors who have saved human beings Though we know knew nothing about this big epidemic in the sense how to treat because it's a big threat to humanity, but we started preparing drugs and vaccines, and step by step we started learning how best to prevent that and how uh, better we can treat that. Though we have not come to the exact solution of the problem, that is why prevention is the most important. Don't have appropriate drugs, might be, but. And we know how best to prevent it, and I want to salute all those people and do pay homage to the, all those corona warriors who have sacrificed their lives in saving humanity. At the same time, I pray for all people who have lost their lives during this pandemic. So, what is A? A is alertness. Be alert of what is happening around yourself. Pay attention and follow the guidelines properly. and do not do self medication so alertness attention and appreciation acknowledge the feeling when share and self reassurance that is also very important there are a lot of people who come to you and you know start sharing their feelings don't be uh, kind of uh, in personal just at least listen to them on phone or personally whenever possible and and help them by saying few nice words at least share and self reassurance awareness of realistic information reliable sources please 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 don't forward faulty wrong messages through whatsapp or other social media be very very choosy and careful go to the standard websites like who cdc ministry of health welfare icmr don't spread any negativity i must say there is not one virus corona virus is one virus second virus is the virus of fear which i am going to address the third virus is virus of negativity i am very sorry to say it is spread from different media maybe the social media tv media newspaper don't focus on negativity just focus on positive i will tell you scientifically why it is important positive vibration positive thought creates such a beautiful belief system that takes care of your immune system and you can fight the infection better if you are under fear and sorrow and guilt as professor gem we are was telling then you won't be able to sustain the massive storm that has come to us so realistic information reliable sources avoid speculation and rumors tv newspaper social media like whatsapp so please be very very discriminative judgmental 
okay look at the content don't forward fault is some people are saying put two drops of lime water in the nose some say put guy ghee in the mouth what all that you know these are all not scientifically documented and people remain complacent after doing that and they lose their lives and i have seen a ten number of cases in last one year and three months that i have seen my patients my relatives my neighbors my contacts my you know close people who have died just because of wrong understanding misbeliefs and wrong behavior so please refrain from that and it's the attitude that will decide your outcome be very very careful of positive attitude judgmental attitude and a very very alertness related attitude friends b is b positive corona negative i wish that all of we remain corona negative and remain uh, positive right mentally so what we do we do book reading we do uh, you know kind of things which which enhance our uh, logic reasoning our positivity etc and what is positivity positive is nothing you know whatever you think every thought should be a positive whether it is going to create good thing for me for people around for the world peace or global welfare yes that is positive thought positive word each of my words should create positive in me and around me and give solace to people that is positivity and my each action should be so responsible and positive that people would follow me that is positivity and good books will give you that be bold be physically active whatever way you just don't lie down on the bed and look at the tv all the time counting how many cases have died here like you know counting the bugs being killed by you you know don't do that just uh, look at the tv 5 10 minutes in the morning 5 10 minutes in the evening just to be alert and attentive of what is happening around you it doesn't mean that you have to continuously watch those negative news and white fungus and black fungus and my god kind of material that comes non unscientific material and same thing from morning to night you're just getting scared don't do that instead of that get up from the bed do some physical activity there are a lot of things you can see knitting writing reading creating something uh, drawing painting blogs sudoku etc etc one of my friends you know he was not having a very good memory so before this pandemic he had met me sometime in feb and i said dear you don't have real problem memory you need to do some neurobics neurological exercises like sudoku crossword these that etc and then came the pandemic he took up the advice and you know right now he is the master of sudoku he is He is solving any Sudoku puzzle in less than five minutes, and he has also done a lot of crosswords and puzzles. His vocabulary has increased, and his speech has become fast, and he is now confident. So, I am just giving an example. You be physically active, do whatever, and uh, occupy your hand, leg, and mind. Balance diet. Don't eat junk food and order from all those Swiggy and Maggie and all those. Just have proper balanced diet, and I tell you. what is the best diet mediterranean diet is one of the best diet dash diet is one of the best diet you can go on net and find out even our indian gujju diet without much of the oil sweet and salt if you take that kind of diet is good diet have fruits vegetables nuts okay and uh, uh, less of carbohydrates more of protein okay and uh, you should have uh, minimum oil and if you require olive oil is good or change your oil from different type you know every 3 months change your oil so from sarsa oil to like uh, saffola oil from saffola to rye and something like that be a role model for children and neighbors okay and c comes for compassion care creativity calm and counseling so uh, you should ask people around you do you need my help i can i can help whatever way i can and uh, caution is very important uh, because the corona virus outbreak i have to be very cautious i can't do anything wrong just for the sake of it right ke liye main chalne jaao aisa nahi ho sakta you should be very judgmental 
and follow all the guidelines that government gives okay and uh, care for elderly more risk of infection they have so be very careful if you are is irresponsible in your behavior you will bring the infection at home you may be young and you may be able to fight out well but the elderly gentlemen or mothers at home would not be able to sustain that infection so be careful your behavior will decide the outcome of your family Communicate with empathy and allow expression of feelings. You know, be very kind and try to, you know, listen to people carefully. That's why I'm saying that uh, social distancing is a wrong word. It is only physical distancing that is required. Socially, we have to be even more connected than ever before. So you replace the word with uh, physical distancing and don't do social distancing. Psychological counseling, those of us who have tremendous fear, fear comes from amygdala of the brain in the temporal lobe. And the reason of fear is uh, uncertainty, fear of death, attention, wrong news, change uh, that is happening around us, struggle and bad news that is propounding us. So some of us are so weak that they fall prey to serious psychological situation. For them, psychological counseling is available online also. You can go on it and find out. They can do it free even. Then you, if required, your psychiatrist can give some mood. But you don't be shy in taking that drug if at all you have serious psychological problem. But most of us are having some other kind of psychological issue because of this pandemic. That is a natural thing. And just by social connection, social networking, we can cure each other most of the time. But those who require help, they must take psychiatry. Cultivate hobbies, music, new skill learning to tide through times. And right from learning of music, harmonium, singing, star maker, or Ghana.com, dancing, or uh, painting, piano, whatever activity you can do at home, you know, we should do. And whenever we are allowed to go out uh, with all the instructions being followed, we can do. So this is very important. Chat and be socialized for continued connect with the people. We have a habit. We have five groups of friends and we talk every week, uh, every day. Uh, one group talks, you know, like 10 of us or six of us. We talk every day evening for 15, 30 minutes and we feel fine. So different days we have allotted. So like that, everybody has his own way to do that. B is disciplined behavior, drug, devotion, and donation. Very, very important. You, you have to be disciplined and donate. You know, friends, what could be the best time, better time than this to help people and donate? We don't know of tomorrow. I have seen many of my friends, relatives, neighbors, and uh, patients dying in front of me. And who is going to take things along with them in the, you know, next birth and how can you help people it's not just by money if you have money most welcome go and feed people go and give them medicines and uh, donate to different ngos or government if you don't uh, then donate your time donate your service donate your uh, skills donate your uh, clothes whatever way you can just flow to the world Daan ki ganga bahane ka isse bada acha time koi nahi ho sakta. Friends, so do that. Every day you do this. And devotion, Ishwar ki bhakti. Hum sab ye jaan gaye ki jeevan nashwar hai. Hum sab bilkul asharan hai. So we have to surrender to the God or Supreme Power or Almighty, whosoever you believe. And take your drugs properly. If you are having hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol, anemia, you take your drugs properly. E is the most important. E is exercise, yoga, pranayam. E is educate, social distancing, mask, hand washing, etiquette, and hygiene. And uh, you know, uh, physical distancing is the word. Uh, so we have to replace it here. Mask hand washing, etiquette and hygiene, these are the most important things. Exercise could be in form of yoga, massage. Even laughing is a good exercise. 
you do your aerobic exercise do running cycling walking swimming whatever you want but the most important is education part educate now wear a mask wash your hands and watch your distance now everybody knows this but what people don't know how to do really this and i must spend 2 minutes here if you are going to wear a mask wash your hands before touching the mask how many of you do this first you wash your hands for 20 seconds if it is alcohol or if it is soap and water 40 seconds then inspect the mask for damage if any if it is an intact mask then only you wear adjust the mask of your face without leaving gaps on the sides cover the mouth nose and chin and avoid touching the mask and then after wearing the mask clean your hands before removing the mask and remove the mask by straps not by ears or head and once you remove the mask you put it if for either disposal or if it is to be used reuse for some reason if you use for only few second few minutes and you want to reuse put in a proper jar and if it is a washable mask you should wash it properly like i would always recommend n95 how do i wear you see this this is how then i am not supposed to touch here there or i am not supposed to bring it down oh while talking some people have a bad habit of bringing it down don't do that mask is mask once you have worn it is like this and till you remove it has to be there and you are not supposed to touch some people have a habit of wearing mask like this this is nonsense no use so don't do this always cover the proper area this is how and when i remove i should remove this way and put it in a jar so this is what you should know and don't use the mask that is uh, damaged or it is rotten so how to protect ourselves stay home and self isolate if there is something or uh, as far as possible don't go out in a critical time if it is a must go with all proper precaution clean hands with frequently with soap and water for 40 second or with alcohol based rub for 20 second cover your nose and mouth with a disposable tissue this is called appropriate hygiene appropriate behavior of covid we are learning so when you have sneezing you know or i have to put kind of cloth in front of me avoid touching surfaces avoid touching nose eyes some people have frequent habit of touching nose and you know don't do this is the area which is a critical area from where the virus goes nose and mouth don't do that maintain a minimum physical distance stay away from crowds use a mask i would suggest in this time n95 mask is better as we doctors wear and regularly clean and disinfect the surfaces you should have this kind of disinfectant and spray your surfaces where you are going to sit or somebody has come and gone spray out or spray over the surfaces and particularly metals e is for it takes maintain it if dear friends i have to say with heavy heart that people have done lot of misuse of this time people have seen this as an opportunity to make their earning and you know make in profit no friends this is a time to give donate help and sustain the society it is not time to earn the whole lot of life is front of you so help people rather than uh, use this as an earning thing you know don't do that if is fight fear follow friends finance handling and forgive people okay so friendship is one of the best gift that god has ever given to us a person doesn't need a large number of friends to be happy he needs only best one friend and fear the outbreak of corona virus may be stressful for people fear and worry about your health your loved one your die, your lot your sin relatives dying in front of you so that kind of grief sorrow changes in sleep and eating patterns happen difficulty in sleeping or concentrating your chronic health problem may worsen your health condition worsen and you may fall prey to alcohol tobacco etc so be very careful so we have to fight out fear and we have to be generous Have gratitude and surrender to God. 
gargling is also for g and uh, it's a good idea when you come out uh, when you go out and come back do gargling and uh, so if at all there is some contact with virus it can be removed and be generous and be grateful to each and every person appreciate and thank and say sorry thank everybody everybody who ever has helped you you must be grateful grateful to them including our god humanity is at health tips and hot water i don't have to say much on that immunity and answer now there are two types of immunity there is a lot of myths about immunity by taking some ayurvedic or homeopathic stuff or our medical stuff you don't become immune to the virus general immunity gives you strength no doubt to fight fight any disease including virus it helps but not always for specific disease like tubercle or uh, virus or fungus like this. because there is something called specific immunity for the disease for general immunity medical science suggests vitamin d zinc vitamin c vitamin a iron vitamin e you can take some kind of multivitamin tablet which contains everything in vitamin d in addition for the ayurvedic system we have haldi jeera dhaniya lasun chavan prash ashwagandha yashti madhu chatushkatu gado etc you know more than me j is for jovial ja be cheerful if you remain cheerful if you smile and if you laugh out your immune system would be enhanced to such an extent that you will be able to really fight the specific disease as well as general disease k is for kindness once again i cannot over emphasize the kindness l is for love light and laughter friends there are two major healers in life one is time and the second is love love heals lot of diseases and lot of your wounds so love people appreciate them and laughter mother teresa used to say it's a very profound statement if you spend your life in judging people criticizing people then when will you love them so love them m is very important music meditation and medication medications for corona if you have got contracted corona whatever doctor gives you should take meditation is the profound key of survival humanity has been restored with this greatest gift of mankind and fortunately most of the meditative techniques have come from india so let us learn this in pandemic and follow all the lifetime friends whatever i have been saying i'll be saying now is not for only this pandemic you can make this as your lifestyle make this your attitude make this as your routine and follow through life music and of course chanting mantra sound therapy has a very very important role sound chanting like mahamrityunjay mantra or gayatri mantra or nokar mantra or uh, vedic mantras this really helps and we have done some study on that also which i don't have time today and so you should do all this music is the medicine of the mind and it can heal and it can relieve stress anxiety alleviate depression so start from today uh, singing whatever little you know on star maker or some other app and friends meditation please do me a little favor search your own self within yourself rumi a great poet of turkey the sufi saint wrote chota sa ek kaam kar tere hi andar tu teri tapas kar that is meditation any is nutrition nurture the nature and new skill development and non violence friends uh, nurture the nature you know what charak sanita og nirukti and now the science also has started believing that why this pandemics come one of the important reason is our blasphemy the intellectual blasphemy the pragna parad that we have done whatever we have done wrong with the nature the air pollution the water pollution the chemicals and you know doing wrong with the earth mother and cutting trees and forest all this produces disturbance in the air water and uh, earth uh, equilibrium and that is one of the reasons why this kind of pandemics or earthquakes or tsunamis come this intellectual blasphemy has been discussed in detail in charak sanhita 
and they say that it is the man who is trying to prove the supremacy over the nature and also kills so many animals do you know we are responsible for uh, removing at least 50 to 70000 species of animals and birds from earth every year and we kill millions and trillions of animals and see uh, animals every year just for the sake of our greed our uh, passion and our wrong attitude so nature takes the revenge and it has a style of you know self control so every 80 to 120 years nature takes charge of the thing and there is you know what happened last year everything was in still we had to be home bound and nature started uh, you know rebooting itself so there was complete disappearance of pollution things were still and the birds had come back to you know sing in front of us so all these things why unless we improve as human beings and we don't do wrong to nature and uh, living beings and unless we follow non violence also we are not going to survive a day will come after corona dorona will come torona will come many other viruses will come lot of earthquakes tsunami will come and the human race will be wiped off it is the time for us to do introspection and that is why i am telling nurture the nature grow trees reduce the air pollution don't add chemicals to the waters or etc etc and of course take chance of learning new skill development O is for optimistic outlook. P is for prayer and patience. P is for preserve the nature, plant a tree, pollution avoidance. I can't uh, uh, overemphasize again. That's why I put it here. And uh, you know, positive thought. You know, every single thought that arises in our mind has a permanent uh, imprint in our brain. This is the study that we took for the you know specs. single photon emission computerized tomography every thought we try to measure if i have hatred for something my temporal lobe will give some signal if i have compassion for some uh, for human kind my brain will react in a different way by throwing different chemical in different areas so uh, this is uh, every single thought is now being captured in this machine thoughts are now no more atomic they are all uh, thoughts are no more abstract they are atomic they are represented and each single thought creates a series of reaction in the mind my thought of violence will create some specific changes in my heart my vessels my immune system my gut and and if i am angry with somebody my pulse blood pressure respiration rises so every single thought has a complete effect on my whole body system so don't think that my thought will not uh, be known to every anybody your own body will know every cell of your body will know and every uh, human being on the earth will know some or other way that is how we as neuroscientists have discovered and you know what each single cell in the body has 1.4 millivolt of the current how many cells we have 50 trillion cells and 50 trillion cell into 1.5 70 trillion millivolt energy is in our body and if we start thinking positive if we start speaking positive if we start doing positive each human body is capable of changing the world and think of 135 crore people here or 8 billion people in the world if all humanity becomes positive what will happen the whole future and the presence of a uh, universe will change so we have to do prayer prayer is not for bhagwan mujhe gaadi dila de to main ek tumko ghee chada dunga wo prayer nahi hai what is prayer sarve sukhinah santu sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashtid phavave every let everybody be happy let everybody see good fortune let everybody be uh, without any disease and let everybody have complete renunciation uh, liberation that is and when you do prayer there are specific changes in the brain and that produces parasympathetic effect which reduces your pulse blood pressure and respiration 
it produces positive calming effect in the body your body is at rest your fear is reduced your anger is gone your negativity is gone and you become a man with spiritual inclination q is quarantine what do i need for quarantine you know everything and you can read from cdc website also from our icmr website but our responsibility is most important every word you say every thought you think and every action you do we do it responsibility with responsibility and as is for spirituality serenity self dependence team inhalation sanitization and of course save water spirituality you know everything but you should read every day some good spiritual book of scriptures serenity man shant rakho self dependence now we have learned in the pandemic to do self dependence in fact i myself started doing some simple cooking and cleaning some of the objects at home cleaning my air condition these are because we don't allow agencies to come if you allow people of different agencies unnecessarily without real real need you are inviting infection so don't go out at the same time don't allow agencies or people uh, to come without specific reason so you have to be self dependent do steam inhalation that helps sanitization i have repeatedly mentioned and say word peace trust in god as i said time is a great healer and ishwar sabka bhala karo there is some supreme element and you doubt that you won't be able to explain what is happening around okay unleash your potential this is a time when you do introspection you find out what are your limitations and what are your abilities and do something to improve your potential and reduce your uh, uh, inabilities and uh, liabilities also my friend most important is vaccination you do masking you do sanitization you do physical distancing but you know vaccination is the key and there are lots of wrong messages against vaccination coming but please ignore them as a scientist i am telling that vaccine is not a full panacea it doesn't cure everybody it does not protect you fully i know that my many doctor friends have contracted infection even after vaccine but i tell you one bottom line the chances of death after vaccination is reduced to 120th or 150th or maybe more so vaccination protects against serious disease as well as death secondly chances of getting infection is much reduced whatever limitation of vaccination whatever way it is created fast overlapping of the several sequences true no doubt but there was no other way but vaccination helps and do vegetarian diet no vice is smoking alcohol chhod do it is a time to take self mastery self control so there are different vaccination platforms uh, there are live attenuated viruses we don't use in this uh, corona virus because it's disastrous recombinant viral vector is the pfizer and moderna inactivator or killed is your covi covaxin protein submit vaccines are not uh, still available virus like particles are not available dna recombinant viral vector are uh, uh, sorry recombinant viral vector are your covid shield and nucleic acid based are your uh, pfizer and moderna so we have this or we have this covid shield or covaxin okay but moderna and uh, nucleic acid based are not still available in india immunogens uh, there are different ways how we create vaccine and this is not the date to discuss vaccine platform but having said all this we will if we follow all this we will win over corona we will win over all four viruses corona fear virus negativity virus and the fourth virus is blame virus we st- we were wrong habit of blaming falana dikna government agencies other person doctors nurses are bhai everybody has a good intention to help you but it is we as people we are at mistake we are breaking all the rules and norms and that is why we fall prey to this if you if you follow these abcd strictly and see it 95% of time you will not be uh, getting any i, I bet to and uh, so we will win our to it together we have to win and uh, same thing you know do's and don'ts and don't give up you are not alone you matter so 
don't harm any creature x is don't uh, fact, uh, don't harm x factor to win corona is immunity which we discussed physical immunity psychological immunity uh, spiritual immunity and why you are not alone if you can't, can't go outside go inside do meditation friends so zen meditation zen zil vipassana meditation if you learned or anapansati you can have online learning of uh, jyot meditation bindu meditation thought meditation breathing meditation there are several methods of meditation if you all have agree is one of the days we'll take meditation in details but we should do this transform uh, your personality transform your fear and anxiety into mastery and the meditation produces a specific response in the brain um towards the end of my presentation within 2 to 5 minutes i will wind up <clears throat> this is a scan of a spec before baseline that is before meditation this is the prefrontal area this is the brain this is the posterior part of the brain this is the frontal part of the brain and this is the side part of the brain and you see that before meditation this is the blood flow spec classically measures the blood flow spec is single photon emission computerized tomography and you see what happens during meditation this red part the blood flow is increased to 40% in single session of depth meditation so this is the area which denotes your intelligence your memory cognition judgment power of uh, discrimination executive function planning everything resides in here why we are superior race over other races because we are endowed with this with other races don't have and unfortunately our attitude and behavior also resides here so that wrong attitude of you know taking charge of the earth and becoming the god of the earth has created this problem so instead during meditation this becomes highly active your attitude improves your behavior improves your personality improves your thoughts improve your cognition memory intelligence judgment everything improves and that is the benefit of meditation do think of those people who are doing meditation for years together how calm powerful and intelligent they must be and they are and i tell you from my experience meditation and music and spirituality that has that have changed my life for good so all that bliss that i have got in my life is just because of this and of course i am blessed with a very great family a great culture of my nation the great uh, spiritual books and my friends are also great so i i i dr vyas is one of them of course very senior to me but because of this uh, i want to thank uh, at this point with my whole humbleness that these are the reasons why i have got little success whatever you see because of them and i am very thankful to them the other important uh, aspect of meditation is uh, this is a parietal area left parietal area and you see the blood flow is suddenly reduced after meditation and what is this this is the area where your thoughts to other person the orientation to time place person my attitude my behavior to other people to the time to person comes from here my emotions it, my ego my uh, my desires my uh, calm crowd low mo whatever type of perversion they all come from this area and here during meditation that part is shut up and therefore you don't have ego bad attitude perversions and uh, wrong desires so this is why even must meditate so friends uh, if i come to the end of my presentation uh, there are five six slides that you should see how now we from whatever we have learned how we go ahead how do we chart our uh, way ahead like we have for 24 hours uh, of a day maybe 7 to 8 hours sleep 8 hours of work and 8 to 9 hours of uh, we have remain so maybe this we divide into 3 hfs hfs 3 h is what one hour you give for your health your exercise whatever kind of exercise you want to do either aerobic or yoga or pranayam whatever then one hour is for your daily routine hygiene 
one hour for hobby that we have discussed reading writing painting music dancing whatever one hour you spend for your family and uh, one hour for your faith whatever religion whatever spirituality you want to follow one hour is for the service of humanity do whatever act of compassion you can do even feed the birds even <clears throat> help people cross the road help them with clothes money drugs medicines and even by your good counseling one hour is your for soul and one hour for smiling laughing look at the tv serial which make you smile and laugh and the tarak mehta ka udha chashma sara ve sara ve whatever or whatever english here so five virtues take home gratitude appreciation forgiveness kindness and acceptance friends be grateful to each and every person around you and appreciate the smallest person for his smallest good deed forgive people first to apologize is for the best the first to forgive is the strongest the first to forget is the happiest help others this is the time not to earn or not to Uh, you know loot people take advantage of their uh, uh, you know dependability and uh, you know is the time to flow back help people compassion accept certain things we are not able to change even as doctors we have lost 1500 doctors we can't change certain things that is the way it is but like if army at the you know border we all are working hard today even at this stage and age of life i am working because we have to serve the humanity but we know our limitation and with god grant me the courage to change the things i can the serenity to accept the things i cannot and the wisdom to know the difference so friends with this i want to end my presentation and i want to know that uh, finding our hands and uh, by creating a atmosphere which is healthy for each and every person physically and mentally <clears throat> so this is the way we should do we should do and this is the way for happy healthy human life further on so that you can fight any pandemic or whatever <clears throat> peaceful mind and happy positive thought that is your right brain left brain is for positive and creative brain then speak less and listen more your eyes should be full of compassion uh, the smiling face uh, and laugh exhaustingly is your face and loving pious heart the stomach should be light with good nutrition simple satvik diet and good digestion eat before sunset do yoga do exercise do hard work and donate with these hands thank you very much Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The respected uh, Dr. Sudhir V. Shah, sir, we are enlightened by your expert speech. We can say a soothing therapy for the peace of mind in the time of global pandemic, sir. You. interestingly taught a new abcd to fight out corona effectively we are privileged to hear this positive talk for the better living sir there is a false belief amongst the people that corona is reducing it and uh, it will go soon but uh, you have repeatedly drawn our attention that corona is all around and we have to be very careful the steps led by you will help a long way in your abcd you have explained the appropriate behavior of corona prevention so let us all follow the guidelines and save ourselves we are thankful to you sir for sparing valuable time and sharing new thoughts and we accept our heartfelt thanks and uh, before end sir uh, i am i am also uh, thankful to uh, our honorable vice chancellor sir dr jm vyas sir and uh, professor uh, dr aso dinare sir the campus director of nfsu for all the guidance and i would express my thanks to uh, 
particularly the technical team of NFSU, especially Assistant Professor Mr. Rehan Patel. I would express my thanks to all the participants for making this webinar organized by National Forensic Sciences University Gandhinagar a successful one. Be happy in New India. Have a good day to all. One minute. Only one minute, sir. Thank you very much. And we had large number of participants, not only from India, but also India also. And some suggestions uh, I was just going through. One suggestion has come from one foreign uh, participant. The a person has recommended, why can't you prepare fires? A, B, C, D, Y, Z. A is this. There should be some fires. And fires should be kept. Uh, they all have placed this. Like, but Thank one suggestion you. I like was, hey, why can't we prepare the fires? Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. So, thank you very much. We really enjoyed and uh, everybody appreciated this. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. thank you all. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you to all of you. Thank you very much.